legs, my legs so hips so ass so everything. So when I gotta stand up for Baltimore this weekend, okay? I can't be rolling up on no cane or on no wheelchair because I done did one too many squats. And still, after all these years doing squats, I still ain't got no ass, okay? And don't be talking about my hair. I don't get my hair done until Saturday, okay? This is my Keisha's fault. This is Tasha's fault because I don't comb out my curls or anything. I just mat them down. Hey, y'all, hey! What is going on? I ain't got no lipstick on my teeth or nothing. I, I ain't had time, no cookies in between my teeth. I, I won't be losing no stomach before Baltimore this weekend. Y'all, we have just a few tickets left. Just a few tickets left for Baltimore this weekend. And I know y'all been wondering where I'm at. Y'all got to be on TouchKLive.com to know my business, okay? Y'all have got to know. They out here lying on me and everything. I tell y'all the truth over there on what's going on. Everybody wondering, where's Tasha? Where's Tasha? If you're on TouchKLive.com, you know where Tasha at before Tasha know where she at, okay? Period. That's why the other one that was over here y'all, they be like, wait a minute. If y'all was on TouchKLive.com, y'all would know where Tasha is at. And I agree. I agree, Okay? So y'all, I am getting used to my new spectacles because you know with age comes blindness and glaucoma and all types of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna get used to me in glasses and stuff. I'm not wearing no contact because last time I had a contact, it got stuck up to the top of my eye. I was in the emergency room and I'm not doing that no more, okay? I almost lost my whole eye around here trying to be cute. And you know I had to get me some green hazel contacts. <laughs> Listen, Teddy is at the house. I keep forgetting him. I'm so sorry, but I promise you I would not forget him for Baltimore this weekend. Y'all, please be on Tasha K, K on stage.com to get y'all tickets, okay? We just unveiled New York, okay? So we're going to be pulling up to New York during the summertime because you know I'm from the South. I can't take no type of cold weather or nothing, okay? And so I got to come in New York when it's hot. I'm sorry. I'm a traitor. I'm not from there, okay? I can't deal with that cold or anything like that, okay? And so, yes, y'all need to resubscribe. It's a lot of stuff going down over there on TashaKLive.com. Now, real quick, before we get started, I want to let y'all know what's coming up in this show, okay? TikTok versus Instagram. Oh, this is an ongoing war. The lobbying is not lobbying, all right? <sighs> this new AI stuff, I, I hate to, to put it to y'all, but if you're a content creator, Y'all gonna need to listen up, cause you know I be letting my fellow content creators what's, what, to know what's going on with their jobs, and all of us are about to be jobless, me included, okay? Period. Now, I'm damn near already damn near jobless because my debt outseeds my income. All right, we definitely gonna be talking about Eric Benet, Tori Spelling, and Harsh. All right. Keisha Cole got a new baby on deck. Tyrese out here still crying. I'm sorry, cry, Reese. Definitely gonna be talking about Lotto. All right, somebody out here trying to hit the lotto, and I'm here to remind them. Um, sorry, $21 is not going to let that happen. Megan Thee Stallion is back on I'm Wild with K. Uh, I'm Wild with Tasha K. Uh, today, and last but not least, my brother-in-law. Go ahead, put up his picture, Jasmine. Jack! How you doing, brother-in-law? Oh, my God. We could have worked this out like family. But since you still got my name in your mouth instead of your baby's name, we're going we're gonna to discuss it here. Since you keep bringing it to a public platform, I'll bring it to a public platform too, okay? As long as you keep bringing your fitness publicly, we're going to talk about it, all right? Now, all that more coming up on this show. But before we get started, please, guys, make sure you are like, sharing, and subscribing from every pl whatever platform that you're on. All right, we got to let you know what's coming up on TashaKLive.com. And so we got a trailer here, and then we got some other stuff. If you're on TashaKLive.com, then you know what that is, okay? But right now, we're just going to let you know what has dropped and what's coming up, all right? We got some sponsors that we need to break about, which means Bali Razor Glass. We will be right back. Let's go. <laughs> we got Neasha in the damn wine cellar. See, you was at home minding your business. Your ex just won't seem to let it go. No. Desi Banks. You ain't out here trying to say, oh, I'm Desi Banks' ex. Right. But Desi keeps speaking on you. You are only here to respond on him constantly speaking on you. And Shannon Sharp's platform is really big. How long were you guys together? From 2013 until 2019. Okay, that's a pretty long time. Was you, I guess, kind of like his first real love? 
You sit up here, you tell all these lies about me. How could you have loved me? Especially if the world knew exactly how much of a real person I was to you and what I've done for you. Like when they know the truth. I could understand from his perspective, it is embarrassing to know that his woman funded his career. Listen to how he talked. She didn't believe in me because I told you you needed to get a job. Boy, you work one job less than a year. You ain't do right by me and you was okay with that. So just leave me alone. Let me be. Don't speak on me. Don't continue to try to use me for anything. You ain't used me up already. Besides you having to fund everything, like what was it like being in a relationship with Desi? It's hard to even talk about it because I don't even believe it. It wasn't real. You don't want the world to know that you got to the money, you smelt yourself, and you switched up on the one person that was down for you. That's what it is. How could you believe it? Was he at least the- good in bed though? Tasha. Don't do it. For real. All right, winos. If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> and we're back. I'm resting my ass today, okay? Sorry, y'all. I ain't combed my hair. I ain't did nothing. But I did wash my ass, though. I really did, okay? Listen, um, put them ticket emojis in the chat if you're going to be in Baltimore this weekend or Oakland, Pleasanton in two weeks. Put them ticket emojis in the chat. We need to, know, we need to let them know who's coming out because Baltimore is almost sold out. I'm talking about literally 40 tickets left, okay? And I know them going to sell on the day because a lot of y'all trying to figure out if I'm going to show up because I don't be showing up here all the time when I say I'm going to show up, but I'm showing up. That's a different thing, okay? Now. I can't wait to see y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. TikTok versus Instagram. Now, when the lobbying doesn't lobby. Now, they have been on Mark Zuckerberg's behind uh, for quite some time, okay? And he's managed to shift the conversation over to China and China taking our information, okay? Now, you know, there's been lots of reports of balloons and cyber attacks and Verizon and AT&T and everybody just mysteriously going down. And I heard that AT&T users' social security numbers are online right now because they were leaked on the dark web by hackers and AT&T failed to protect um, all of that information allegedly, okay? And um, so if you need a CPN or anything, Check the dark bed for some AT&T customers, okay? I'm sure it's hit or miss, you know, uh, on those credit uh, uh, social security numbers, but hey, 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 it's worth a try, all right? Now, um, they have launched after, I guess, the, the House has voted to actually ban TikTok. They are trying to force the sale of TikTok into the United States' hands so that they can have control, so that the Communist Party, you know, I can't say that word all the way, Com Party, um, doesn't get any of our information in darkest secrets. You know, let's be honest, there's a lot of them politicians and stuff that's on TikTok and their kids and everything. And I know China get that, a lot of that stuff will, will just leak, okay? And people gonna be wondering where it came from and your favorite politician, all you know is he's sleeping with dogs. I'm telling you, so all this stuff you can find by way of people's IP addresses and their information that you have to give TikTok. And so instead of, damn it, see, this is what happens when you, when you buy plastic earrings. See, y- y'all thought these was real chains, didn't you? No, you didn't. So, okay, so what happened? The back's still on because that's plastic. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Uh, listen, y'all know I don't even need no earrings, okay? Shoot, I don't even need my hair done. I don't even need no uh, makeup on to do my news, okay? I don't even have to lotion my elbows. Um, so, TikTok, instead of doubling down, uh, instead of like just, you know, I guess, you know, saying, hey, I'm a sell. They decided to do me. They double down, okay? That's what happens. When the court come after you, be like, oh, yeah, for real? Oh, watch this. So you know what they did? They decided to launch another app to compete with Instagram. So now we're going to have what they call TikTok pictures. So people are going to be posting photos only on this app in order to compete with Instagram because they've already beat Instagram in videos. And matter of fact, I think Instagram ended up taking the video feature from them and Snapchat, if I'm not mistaken. 
Because you remember, Instagram is still it. They've been taking things for a long time. This is how you know Mark Zuckerberg and them are some kin to the Kardashians because they don't mind taking right there in your face and then they will go lobby in the White House. Just like how Kim Kardashian and did, they, them did, went down there and lobbied in front of Trump and everybody and tell people straight to your face that you stole their shit, knowing that they, you don't talk, you don't, they don't took your shit. Like for real. TikTok notes. So I don't know how they mix up a note and a photo, but okay. So, um, but they said they ain't going nowhere. And they know Instagram is putting money behind this because I'm going to be honest with you, everybody's Instagram is stuck. And you know why it's stuck? Let me tell you why it's stuck. You like here? Here. All right? Viewer discretion is advised. So this lady here on Instagram, let me make sure I get her name. Hold on. Hold on. Okay? So this lady here... What what her name say down there, Jasmine? Lil, Lil McKee Kayla. Who follows Lil Michaela from Indianapolis, Indiana on Instagram? Let me go over to my followers right now and I'm gonna check to see how many of y'all following Lil Michaela. I think I followed her this morning, okay? And so this is why Instagram is stuck, and this is why a lot of content creators right now are suffering. Even Ari, all that ass that Ari got. The rappers, everybody, she done had all this surgery only for Instagram to freeze her views. We'll talk about that later. So when you go to uh, Lil McQuayla, they done gave her a black name in her bio. It says Black Lives Matter. So she's supposed to be a black girl. I guess maybe she got this look from Beyonce. Listen, um, so when you go to her page, so I'm going to hit follow so I'm going to see how many people that I know are following her. Now, Lil McQuila is following, is it Quila? Yeah, it's Quila, Lil McQuila. Okay, so they got an AI, human-like uh, version of a black girl that has $10 million worth of brand deals a year. Yeah, on Instagram. And they ain't shaking no ass. Now, let me tell you what's going on. So the reason why we can't make no money, okay, this goes for every blog, even the shade room is frozen, okay? The breakfast club is frozen, it's because brands are tied. They are tied. But you know, on TikTok, if you post something that, you, if you're a creator or just maybe a regular person, you know if you post it on TikTok, the views is a little different because, you know, China don't discriminate right now, okay? They are in it to win it, they are not trying to suppress and only, you know, impress. Now, um, so when you go to Lil McQuila's page, hashtag, hashtag Black Lives Matter, 20-year-old robot living in L.A. This is a real robot, y'all. This is a real robot. And I know you wonder, well, how she get the picture with uh, 50 Cent? Because 50 Cent ain't sued, because you know, normally when anybody licenses or uh, posts 50 Cent and they are making money off of it, he is going to get his cut. Which that tells me that he got paid to post this picture with this AI robot, okay? That has 2.7 million followers on Instagram, millions on TikTok and on Facebook, and she will be coming to YouTube and Twitch here soon in real life. This is the real matrix, and she is taking all your money away. This is why Elon Musk right now is calling for a universal basic income, which is welfare for the entire world right now because AI-generated models is taking all the money. Followers, too, okay? So fake followers following fake robots is done. It's over. <sighs> now, I can't. Agree with TikTok coming, you know, for Instagram because Instagram. I mean, they've just been on Mark Zuckerberg been on shit every for a while now, and I thought them 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 them, them white people with them kids that they claimed that Instagram or Mark Zuckerberg was responsible for, you know, all that suicide stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I was I don't understand how he's responsible for your child jumping out the window and you was home. I just don't get it. I don't get it. He ain't in the house. So how are you at the Senate talking about you took my baby, but you was at the house. Mark Zuckerberg was never at the house. Okay? So I'm telling y'all about the war on social media that's going on now, which means if you ain't got no side hustle, like 50 Cent getting paid, because this AI robot is licensing his photo to help this photo go legit because they know once black people stamp Lil McQuilla, it's a wrap. She getting paid. 
taking all your sneaker dig, uh, deals, your wig deals, all that shit is gone. That's why y'all about to invest in the short hair cuts. We the only ones gonna be with because McClellan ain't gonna wear no short hair because she can't do it. She she's not gonna put on a 27 piece. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen. But yeah, it's just gonna change around here, all right? And the celebrities are with it because they can't stand none of us. And the podcast game is over because everybody and their mama got one. When I saw Don Lemon over here, and we'll talk about him on TashaKayla.com, because that's gonna get a little, it's gonna get a little dangerous, okay? Um, <laughs> borderline racist. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I'm not racist. It's y'all. We're going to talk about it on TashaKLive.com right after this show. We got Don Lemon on the thumbnail. However, the times that they gave us in Matrix 1, 2, and 3, and Jada Pinkett was in 3, and then when Aaliyah died and they finna bring her back in the Matrix, I'm telling you, this shit is here. It's here. Ain't no coming back. So y'all might as well go on and follow Lil McQuilla. DM Lil McQuilla, send her a cash out. Yeah, because it's, it's officially here. Hey, baby, how you doing? I just trying to figure out why did they label her a black girl? She look black to you? See, Beyonce did this shit. Yeah. yeah Beyonce, one day she my color, next day she like, look like this, you know? But that's Beyonce. She can do no wrong. No wrong at all. Moving on. <sighs> What'd you say? Oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about Beyonce on TashaKLive.com, too, tonight. Make sure you have your subscriptions. We actually got Kyle and Corey Massey's mother, Ashley Massey, uh, on TashaKLive.com. Angel, sorry, shit. Y'all know I, I be messing up names and stuff like that. My sugar be high, listen. Um, so yeah, Angel Massey came to sit down, and she is not quiet on the set. All right, she coming to tell you how her kids did in Disney and Nickelodeon as a black parent. So that chair ain't never been touched. Then we got Liz croaking. She walked for I can run, telling her all the Jay Z business, Diddy business. Boy, when I tell you she talked about that damn, that damn mistress, that white lady, that Jay Z allegedly. Y'all better be. It's going down. It's going down on TashaKLive.com, okay? And you may even get a little bit too on the stage when you see me when I'm in your city. So make sure, TashaKOnStage.com, get your tickets. New York, we pulling up. Yes, we are. And don't forget, Charlotte and Raleigh, y'all on the list too. Y'all better be on TashaKOnStage.com. Speaking of who, who, who need to be on the stage, but he in the bathtub trying to prove what people are saying about him when he on stage because they said that he can't sing high. Now, when he said this originally in the video, go ahead, Eric Benet. This is for all them people, you know, all them people that be talking about, you know, Eric Benet. Oh, I know Eric Benet. He the one. Oh, he, he sing high. No, he can only sing high. That's all I, he I do. I they was thinking. Start it over, Jasmine. Start it over. Now, this is Eric Benet. This is Halle Berry's ex. He looking more like Halle Berry. Caitlyn Jenner. Um... He is challenging the critics, because, you know, everybody on social media now, we can say what we really want to say. Okay? And so they're saying, Eric, I don't think you can say hi. But when he, the way he said it and the way he was saying it, I thought he was really talking about Go ahead. This is for all them people. You know, all them people that be talking about, you know, Eric Benet. Oh, I know Eric Benet. He the one. Oh, he, he sing hi. He can only oh, sing hi. Oh, 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 I thought he was really talking about hi. <laughs> the way his eyes was going, he was like... I was like, who are you looking at? You were in the tub by yourself with pearls on and shampoo suds around the edges, okay? Good looking like you've been wearing lace fronts for the last 10 years. Go ahead, Eric. That's all he do. This for y'all right here. <clears throat> no, no, see, he hit the note. When he hit the nose, <laughs> Eric, you sang it high. Go ahead, go ahead, finish up. Yo, ho, oh. He talking about all y'all hoes that's been listening to him for years, even the hoes he cheated on, he cheated with when he was with Halle Berry. Go ahead, Eric. And hoist the colors high. Heave ho, thieves and beggars never oh, shall. Did he say Nick? Did he say niggers? He said niggers. He did not say beggars. He said the bathtub with pearls on. Pause. Well, oh. we die. Ah! Ah! 
He's going to make y'all pay for that on his next tour run. So when you get them tickets off Groupon, just know he coming in there singing about singing like the Vikings. I'm calling us. Come on, he's talking about Vegas. No, he said, I heard what he said. I heard what the hell he said. And he done got a facelift, too. Put this picture back up. Put that video back up and pause it. He got a facelift. You see how tight it is? The jawline? Yeah. Y'all think, put the, put the comments up. Y'all think Eric, y'all think Eric Benet got a facelift? Huh? I know it's very weird. They talking about it's a glitch in the matrix. I'm done. <laughs> y'all think he got a facelift? I'm serious. Y'all said it's the tic tac sound of North, North Sea. <sighs> Moving on. All right, and white wine news. Now I'm starting to, I just don't understand why Dylan chose her over Brenda. If you know, you know. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Jasmine, you're probably too young for this. You don't know what I'm talking about? So she was on 90210, Beverly Hills 90210. I watched that show faithfully as a child. And I was trying to figure out what did Dylan see her in her over Brenda? What? Did he like the smell of shit too? So apparently Tori got a podcast and this is why podcasts are getting devalued because celebrities are tired now and now they have, they have a phone, they have the internet, they have microphones and they say, you ain't gonna spill my wine, Tasha. I got it first. So I'm like, okay, we'll just review it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. So I don't have to spill it anymore. We're just gonna review it. Since you like to review your shit. We're going to review your shit. So she starts a podcast talking about her divorce and how awful it was and, you know, how that was the most detrimental thing for her and it was the best decision she made. She's made in her life, but then come out in the same breath to say, huh? Okay. And then, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I need to put the mic stand over here. I apologize, y'all. I'm so sorry. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Do I need to repeat it? Do I need to repeat it? Okay. So she has decided to start a podcast. She ain't making no more money. Royalty checks drying up, so everybody after COVID has to do something. I get it. But I'm just trying to figure out, if you haven't been trained in podcasting or how to set up a story or how to disseminate a story, then you don't need to be doing podcasting at all. It's very different from acting. And furthermore, these characters that we fell in love with, the children, it, it erases all of that. And so when I see Tori Spelling on live talking about how bad her divorce was and how it was liberating for her and that was the worst thing that she's gone through, but in retrospect, he did do a lot for her because to this day, she cannot take a shit alone. I know y'all wondering, like, what? She cannot shit alone. She says that her husband, every day, during their marriage, had to stand in the bathroom while she took a shit in order for her to relax and let it go. Relax and let it go. Now that the husband is gone, guess who in the bathroom helping her to relax to take a shit? Her son. Her baby. Seven years old, I think. I said, now, Tori, what about this was podcast material? Did somebody ask you from your PR team, is there anything that people don't know about you that you could say about yourself and make it go viral? Don't tell nobody else's business, even though I know she got plenty of wine, white wine to spill on all the shit she's done, all the people she's had to screw, allegedly, to get where she at today. But you out here putting out that your son has to stand in the bathroom. At first, I thought I was reading an article about her. Because, you know, as women, when we have children, we can't take sin in, in private for the first three, four years. Your child follow you everywhere. They, everywhere you go, your child got their thumb in their mouth. Mom, where you going? Where you going? They in there smelling shit, tasting shit, fucking up shit, doing everything. But then when I reread it, I had to slow down a little bit. I had to put on reading. I said, did she just say on her new podcast 
that her husband, the divorce of her husband was the best thing ever. And, and, and even though she was with him for so many years, he, he gave her something that she needed, which is peace in the bathroom. Now you are telling the world that your son has to stand in the bathroom while you take shit in order for you to take shit. So, which means when he turned about 13, either he going to get off on seeing his mama take shit. He going to be out here, two men in one cup. Y'all remember that shit, two men in one cup. I almost killed somebody that told me to watch that. They was like, oh, you got to watch this at your And I got that. I was like, you, you got to be a sick little bitch to tell somebody to watch that. And don't watch it. And now his friends going to be laughing at him in school because he got a, a shit stench. Can't stand these people. Don't be thinking about what it's going to do to your children or nothing like that. Mama, I can tell what you ate today. What, baby? You sitting on the toilet. Carrots. How'd you know? It's a little bit sweet. Normally, this stuff is sour. All the jelly beans you eat. Oh, my God. I can't stand these people. And we got, man, we got two that's going on the app tonight. TashaKLive.com. One lady, her husband is right there beside her. She, she fucking the dog. And then we got another one. One of her husband, boyfriend in the car. Oh, man, it's going down tonight on White Wine on TashaKLive.com. Stay tuned. All right, after the break, we got Keisha Cole, Tyrese. Told y'all to hide y'all sons, and you didn't, okay? Got Lotto and 21 Savage, Megan the Stallion out here complaining. All right, and Young Jock, my brother-in-law, has made the show again. All right? He's a part of the family. I don't know why he just won't hit me from behind the scenes like he, like he did before when he threatened me. When he said I was lying and all that and said he was going to send somebody for me, and I was like, you could send Glow. Why you won't send her? Huh? Where are you going to go? And a whole part of my city knows you You impregnated a whole. We got some sponsors we got to brag about, which means Bowling Red's Glass, too, which is our sponsor. We'll be right back. Let's go. <laughs> we got Neasha in the damn wine cellar. See, you was at home minding your business. Your ex just won't seem to let it go. No. Desi Banks. You ain't out here trying to say, oh, I'm Desi Banks' ex. Right. But Desi keeps speaking on you. You are only here to respond on him constantly speaking on you. And Shannon Sharp's platform is really big. How long were you guys together? From 2013 until 2019. Okay, that's a pretty long time. Was you, I guess, kind of like his first real love? You sit up here, you tell all these lies about me. How could you have loved me? Especially if the world knew exactly how much of a real person I was to you and what I've done for you. Like when they know the truth. I could understand from his perspective, it is embarrassing to know that his woman funded his career. Listen to how he talked. She didn't believe in me because I told you that you needed to get a job. Boy, you work one job less than a year. You ain't do right by me and you was okay with that. So just leave me alone. Let me be. Don't speak on me. Don't continue to try to use me for anything. You didn't use me up already. Besides you having to fund everything, like what was it like being in a relationship with Desi? It's hard to even talk about it because I don't even believe it. It wasn't real. You don't want the world to know that you got to the money, you smelt yourself, and you switched up on the one person that was down for you. That's what it is. How could you believe Was he at least good in bed though? Don't do it. For real. All right, winos. If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> All right, who got their tickets? We're pulling up in Baltimore this weekend and I will have my hair combed. I ain't gonna do y'all like that, for real. YouTube, I can get away with that. I can come on here with a do-rag. Y'all love me for me, but we're gonna be out. Y'all gonna be taking pictures. I'm gonna make sure my hair's done so y'all can have some nice photos, okay? I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Keisha gonna put it down. Shout out to the master stylists on, on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Facebook, okay? Now, put them ticket emojis in the chat. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments before we bring Keisha Cole on up here. Told y'all to hide your children. I really did. Oh, I see you, I see you, Big Palsy. Okay, I see you, Shiny's Lab. Okay, I see y'all. Y'all gonna be seeing me on the road heavy. Heavy. Hell, I may even show up in a small town in Alabama. 
You just never know. Make sure y'all stay on my website, TashaKOnStage.com, because I'm hitting the stage and I'm going to be on tour for a really, really long time, all right? They said Baltimore wasn't a DMV, so you ain't finna get me in trouble, Tamika. It is not a DMV, according to people from Baltimore, okay? So we just, we coming to Baltimore, all right? So I'm just going to, I'm mind my business. I already got to dodge, dodge Krishan and Tashaki when I get up there, because I ain't that strong. I can't fight. You know what I'm saying? But I got some Secret Service members for them. Sure do. Yes, I got Secret Service security. Sure did. Even though I don't even need them. They fat anyway. It's been a minute since they've been in the Secret Service. Uh, but they were still there. All right, Keisha Cole. Didn't I tell y'all to hide y'all babies? I specifically told y'all to hide your sons. Lamine won't be nowhere near around. This borderline. Her and Drea need a name. What should we call them? The female, not the female R. Kelly's. That's a little too. Female Diddy's, no, they ain't drugging everyone. Who should we call? Huh? What should we call them? The, 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 the male version, what's that little boy? What's that old man name that was with A.K.E. Simmons, A.K.O. Simmons? Vittorio. I'm serious, you have really got to hide your young, rich sons from these holy cuckoos. For real, Keisha Cole know these little boys used to jack they dick to her. I don't even know why she gonna front it out like they didn't. Oh, you used to do that, we can make it a reality. Taking all the little boy money. And you can tell that this one right here, I can tell, see the last one, he was slow. He was short, he was slow, he ain't had no money, but I could tell by his slowness, he ate good pussy. <laughs> yeah, Nico KL, he sang, rap, and ate good pussy. And he was cross-sided too. This one here, he just stay in the space. So he gives me autistic. Go ahead, Keisha. Hey, 24 hey, years old, look at him. Hey, this ain't hey, 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 he ain't even paying attention to her. He too busy, Bentley. <laughs> now, I know she feels like she's younger than them because she's short as hell. But, baby girl, that is not the case. That is not the case. We, we're going to stop this, kid. We go, Keisha... <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just feel women like her, maybe it, because they are alpha women, maybe they just need to feel that all the way. They don't like, you know, I, I think ever since Jeezy put on her play, she ain't been the same since. I, I, I think that's what did. That was the last nigga uh, that she screwed around with. That was the last one. Y'all gonna get another lady your son's riding because she ain't gonna, you know what she about to do? You already know what she about to do at the tender age of 50? Get pregnant. Yeah, she's gonna get pregnant. You know her artist age really ain't 42. Stop. So they be lying about their age. What we not gonna do? She finna trap this little boy the same way Drea trapped that last one. The one she with. But he gotta got you on her because he got another one his age pregnant. That's a oop, Drea. Oop! Didn't see that coming. Not at all. Moving on. Cry Reese, he just won't stop crying. At all, I just don't, I don't know what, I don't know what we have to tell Tyrese. I don't know how many times we have to tell him, we don't give a fuck. We don't give two fucks. Three, four, five. We don't care. We're laughing at you, sir. Okay, not with you. And the more he gets online trying to, and I'm gonna tell y'all about it when we when we on tour, okay? Because what happens in the in the in the comedy clubs, stay in the comedy club. I'm gonna tell you what Bilal said about him. It's making all sense now. Cause when he started taking up for Diddy and stuff, talking about, oh my God, somebody need free Diddy, free Diddy. He ain't even locked up, Tyrese. He gotta be locked up first for us to start the free Diddy hashtag. Okay? All right, now we can say save Diddy, but not free Diddy. All right. Now, to see him online after he claims that his daughter was Jewish, I don't know where he got that from, just because your wife is German and she may have 10% Jewish because, you know, what happened in Germany, then the Jews, that does not make you 
or any way related to anybody that's Jewish. Because the way you treated her mama, uh-huh, when you told them folks that you illegally gave her a green card, the only reason she's over here is because you wanted your daughter, but you wanted to send her back, sir, I would be quiet because that screams anti-Semitism. Or well, yes, to do. And if I was the baby mama, I would be like, he, see, see, he knew I was Jewish and had me deported, wouldn't help me take care of my kid, called me all types of names the same way he doing Samantha in court docs, and not for him to get online and do this. Uh, that Samantha, like Samantha, sorry. Samantha's the, the new baby mama, okay? I'm talking about the, the first one. He said she was German. He liked her accent, so he got her pregnant. And then when the baby came, he took the baby and wanted to send the Jew back, okay? But she decided to use the system because she was Jewish to get his money. And he's been scarred ever since. And now that Samantha has called on his black queen, and now she is using the system to get his money, $10,000 a month, here he go online signing like baby boy for real. That's why he played that role so good. Let's go, Tyrese. We're not talking about no freeloading baby mamas either, so don't even jump in my comments about that. Pause, pause, pause. I'm always... Wasn't he asking Will Smith for $5 million? Wasn't he asking his boyfriend for $5 million? Go ahead, 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 go ahead. I'm always and have always took care of mine. You gonna leave me? and you want to take my life with you, that's not happening. I'm going to fight you to the end of the earth. But as far as what mine need, they're going to have more than enough. It's not my job to take care of you and your life and go lavish your lifestyle, and you decided to leave me. You're going to sit across from your new boyfriend, your new fiance, your new husband, and be pimping off my money while this is laying up in something that I'm paying for? and driving around in, Ooh. and dinners and vacations that I'm paying for, Ooh. I'm not doing it. Ooh. But pertaining to my child or my children, they gonna always have Ooh. more than what they need. Ooh. I'm talking about those of you who are running around here broken <laughs> and refuse to do whatever it takes to get it. Refuse to step your <laughs> up. Mm, mm, mm. Look at his black queen. The queen, she is his black queen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hitting his pockets like a true white woman would do. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm just trying to figure out, like, like, I just don't understand. You say whatever your daughter needs, you're going to make sure your daughter get it. But your daughter needs her mama. She needs her mammy. She don't need her daddy out here dragging her mammy cross social media because the mammy done moved on to something quiet. <laughs> Tyrese just need to shut up. I just can't imagine when he was off his medications how fast he really talked. Because he talked real, but he just won't shut up. He probably talking why he fucking, like, would you just eat pussy and be quiet? Please. Please. But to see him go after his black queen like that, after he introduced her to the world as a college educated, uh, a social worker said she made over $100,000 a year and that she was capable and had money before she met him. And then when she met him, she stopped working because he told her, I want my black queen to work from home. Like she could just stay home. I will take care of her. But when he got online to beg $5 million and she was running around picking up prescriptions all day, she realized she had a Kanye West. So she decided to do the Kim Kardashian. But he ain't got Kanye West money. And so now he's upset that he got to pay $10,000 plus $600,000 of the rent. I just don't understand. Tyrese, if she is really all this, why you just ain't apply? Why you just ain't ask for a share of custody? Because if you ask for a share of custody, you ain't got to pay all that. If the child is 50% with you, 50% with the mama, then you guys both split everything. I just don't understand why. Your lawyers haven't asked for shared custody. Oh, you told them you was working, but now you ain't working because you done told the court you done backpedaled, pussy pop, everything back into the courtroom to say, now nah, you ain't working. Yeah. Because you done had to talk with Dame Dash. Dame Dash told the courts all he make is $2,000 a month. That's all he pay himself. 
And they say, hey, so all they're going to get is $200 a month, maybe three, to take care of that damn baby. They said he went, and I said, now, damn, there's no damn well. Damn, there's no damn well. He made more than $2,000 a month. And he in a state where they don't garnish the wife, but he ain't married her yet. The wife that channels Aaliyah for him. I wonder who she channeled. A black woman? Moving on, Tyrese. We wish she would just be done with this. She's been done with you. Put them ticket emojis in the chat if you're going to be in Baltimore this weekend. Like I said, I'm showing up with my hair comb. All right, so 20, uh, uh, Lotto um, has, uh, being flattered, I, I think maybe this is more staged PR, but nevertheless, we're hearing about country artists that we've never heard before. And I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't even going to lie to you. I don't knock the country artists, but I'm not going to sit up here and wear cowboy hats and boots like I gave up before. I am not a trend rider. I'm just not. I'm not going to fake it. I ain't never listened to it. And when I had to take line dancing classes in, in, in middle school and high school, because it was required me in Panama City, Florida, you know what I'm saying? The electric slide just showed down and, you know, that's all it was. I would mad, I said, why we ain't learning hip hop? Why we gotta learn line dancing? Now all of a sudden, all these black people, oh, I listen to country music, I listen to country music. No, you don't. Stop. I was just down this weekend at Tortuga. Tortuga was full. I didn't see not one of us down there. And it was really wide and bright. I don't want to hear it like y'all. Now all of a sudden, y'all are country fans. I, I ain't buying it. Y'all can play that shit somewhere else. Get out of here with that. But he's fine, though, for a country artist. His name is Shabuzi. And he's a country artist. I said, now he, I heard his music. I was a little... But I was like, nevertheless, he look good. He nice looking, you know, he my type, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's old enough, but he my type. So he's shooting his shot at Lotto. Now he says, hi, Lotto. And then I guess one of the Twitter users came back and was like, uh, Shabuzi, uh, she's taken. And he says, by who? Says who? They said, Lotto been booed up for a minute. He said, well, why they ain't never post each other? Chavuzi. I asked the same thing too. Why wow, that married man hasn't posted his side? Yeah, 21 Savage. He buying her everything like how Big Daddy bought Kim Zosiak. Because she looking a bit like Kim Zosiak with these wigs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what anybody says. She tries too hard. Lotto and her fake black accent, I'm over it. Y'all for Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? No, that's not how you talk. That's not how your mama talks. This is, stop, stop. We seen it. But you know, anything she can, you know, to fit in, so be it. But it's just sad. And y'all out here claiming, I swear to God, I hate it when y'all do that. Me and Hazel E was talking about this. You know what I'm saying? We had a long conversation about this two weeks ago. How people call her a colorist and call me a colorist, but me and Hazel cool. We real cool. And uh, even though we throw shots at each other in the past, like we real cool. Like my, I got light skinned sisters and stuff like that. And this, if, when you're from the South, maybe it's a Northern thing. I don't know. Maybe it's a West Coast thing. I don't know. But in the South, making jokes about dark skinned people and light skinned people is what we do. And as a comedian, as a news personality, I am sorry. I am not censoring myself for nobody. Period. Back to the important news at hand. I just wanted to throw that in there. I had to. Okay, shout out to Hazel E. Okay. My favorite mediocre looking light skinned woman. I love her to death. Mm, that's my baby. Yes, she's gonna call me bitch. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, but I'm serious though. My Jasmine, Jasmine saw my sister what for the first time, one of my sisters for the first time. She was like, Tasha. You got light skins? Yes, I got light skin sisters, and they pretty. I don't know why y'all think I don't love light skin women. I love light skin women. I love Asian women. I love white women. I love them all. And, I, and here's the thing, too. Nobody says anything when I'm talking about a white woman. Nobody says anything when I'm talking about an Asian woman. 
As much as I call them hoes, as much as I talk about Carisha and Ari them and they dark skin, y'all don't say nothing until it's a lie. Oh, you color, how? So it's okay for light-skinned women to watch me and see me drag my fellow dark-skinned sisters like Sukiana's uh, 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 dirt-looking ass. And the reason I'm calling her dirt-looking ass is because she like for them to walk her in the dirt and treat her like dirt. I said, what the hell I said? But y'all don't, don't say that because y'all be laughing and kicking in at that. But when y'all name in the title like Lotto, trying to make us believe that she black when she outside, I ain't trying to hear it. Go on with that shit. Let me see the comments. I know y'all cussing. I don't give a damn. Go. <laughs> I see y'all in Baltimore this weekend. All my light-skinned women crying and shit. Let's go. Every time I, I said light-skinned women, when I talk about Claudia, even Claudia in the DM denying that she light-skinned. Now, Claudia, what we not going to do, and I got the receipts to prove it. She said, I am not light-skinned. I said, Claudia, we are not about to do this. We are not about to do this. I drag everybody. Stop. This is a real show. I'm not censoring nobody. No LGBTQ, no light-skinned, no white people. I call white people crackers. We are not doing this. Stop. Tell my Tasha made Suki red, Suki is sexy red. Guy. Sexy red when they asked the mama, but please talk to Tasha. I said, yeah, yeah, you get your, yeah, adult to adult. Yeah, uh huh. Anybody, oh, hold on, oh, who you calling ignorant? So, why, why? Now, I hope that was a compliment because if I'm so ignorant, why are you watching the show? It's kind of like when I see people calling their boss stupid. If your boss was stupid, how are they able to pay your checks every week? Lotto by Rachel. Yes, but she's still light skinned. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. And she is acting like a lotto. Because you remember back in the day, them lottos would let them white men and let them black men play with them as long as they had some money. And they didn't mind being the mulatto mistress. This is what she allegedly is because this is the wife up here. So he posts the wife, but he don't post her. I'm just telling you, as light-skinned women, y'all deserve more. I swear to God, y'all. Y'all don't deserve to be baby mamas. <laughs> I don't even know why Ashanti mad at me. I'm such a huge Ashanti fan. I promise you, but I'm like, Ashanti, this man is playing on your top. How is it that I am the stereotype? They call me dog. They call me loud. They call me ugly. All these, I could be all of them. Baby girl, I am not a baby mama. I'm not a baby mama. It is about your value. And I'm thinking, if you got pretty privilege, if you have what the world calls light skin privilege, you have all these privileges, then you better exercise your privilege being a wife and not a jump off. And this is what Lotto is happily doing for a Lambo. Not Jasmine back here clapping. I'm just saying. I'm, 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 I'm on every woman's side. Period. Black, white, Hispanic. But you can't play it. I'm going to play with you. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to play with you till you get back on top. I think Tisha Campbell is so beautiful. Wish she ain't letting them gay niggas play with her like that. I saw, I saw her pictures today. I was like, Tisha looks so happy. She looks so pretty. I'm like, don't play with me. Come on now, y'all only want to say now when it's shot. Just like how the gay community was coming after me. I said, hold up. We are equal opportunity draggers and raggers over here. Now, I'm just trying to say, Lotto, this man is single. He has a viable career. He, he ain't out here trying to risk his life getting shot. What's wrong with him, Lotto? Huh? You don't like respect? You don't know what it feels like to be treated like a real woman, to be claimed publicly? Huh? Y'all, you go to Freaknik, all these parties that he got, and you got to stay on the other side. Imagine showing up at a party and your man there, and he tell you we cannot talk in public. When you see me, if you see me in the same group, don't you ever, 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 ever come by here? <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> don't let nobody see you coming over here. Don't you ever, ever come by here. I'll meet you in the hotel room. This Lotto right now. Lotto, baby, you pretty. Lotto's not an ugly lady. She's not an ugly lady, but I'm just saying. Shabuzi is out here, and he was like, I ain't seen nobody trying to claim her. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it, Shabuzi. He ain't seen nobody poster, and he won't. He won't see nobody 
ain't posted, but this is the last post you're going to get from our man. I'm telling you, because once, once 21 leave his wife, he ain't getting married no more. I don't care what he done told her. He ain't getting married no more. Mm -mm. He's trying not to send that lady because he know he was already in trouble. That lady go down there and say, he paid me to lie for him, to marry him. I was broke. I needed the money. I was coerced. I'm going to send his ass back to London. He's going to be over there tomorrow. It's a bloody teammate. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, he gonna rebrand the rap career and stick to his original accent. Moving on. Megan Thee Stallion. Guys, please do not forget, we're gonna be in Baltimore this Sunday. I'm pulling up to the Baltimore Comedy Factory. I cannot wait to see y'all. Show starts at 7 p.m. I think the doors open at 6. Make sure y'all get y'all tickets. There's only a few left and I cannot wait to turn up with y'all. Philadelphia, we are coming. New York, we're coming. Uh, St. Louis, Cleveland, we come in Tampa, Orlando, Riley, uh, Charlotte, New York. We got a lot of cities, okay? So make sure y'all get y'all tickets. TashaKOnStage.com, all right? Y'all gonna see some major changes over the next couple years, so just be ready. I came from a bedroom. Now we on stages. They been playing with me, Jasmine. They been playing, they been out here playing with me. Don't do that. And you want to be like, huh? Who coming to see you? <laughs> you better check them rooms. Listen, you better check them rooms. It's a secret society. The why no game. Now, Megan, um, you know, she's been pretty active on social. I'm sorry, she hasn't been active on social media. Her ass has been active. Let's just get that right, okay? I haven't. I'm like, Megan, how every time you make in a video, I'm like, Megan, why do you have to turn around? Why? She don't even look the same. I think the lipo fucked up, to be honest with you. I'm like, Megan, you, you look, your head look bigger than your body. And you a tall bitch, you know what I'm saying? But your head look bigger than your body. Light-skinned women. I'm dragging a dark-skinned woman right now. Y'all laughing? Huh. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I checked that. I checked that. Because y'all claim out here I don't like light-skinned women, so I'm going to make sure I specifically point out when I'm dragging a dark-skinned woman. Okay? Now. About a foot. Listen, um, so you know, she's been active. Her and Glorilla dropped the song. I like it. I actually felt like Megan could have did the song by herself. I don't know why she chose Glorilla to go on, on tour and not everything but music. I just would have thought that at everybody that you could have been on tour with, why you ain't choose my sister in law? Put you on some big songs. Why? Do you have answers? I need to know. Does she bother me? So if you got her on tour, that bother me. So why? Anybody got answers? Why would she not? Why would she choose Gorilla of my sister in law? Let me see the comments. Let me see. 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 Those are, no, I've, I've seen Megan, she's dark. The filters. You can tell she's dark. Her hair doesn't match her face, okay? Beyonce's hair matches her face when it's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, show them real quick. Just, just, just a quick comparison of what a light-skinned woman is versus Megan since everybody wants to, you know, black people. Oh, I'm Indian. That's light skin. <laughs> and you see how the white is right in tone of the shades? So if you were buying concealers, this would be in the same concealer. If you were painting your walls, this white would be with this nude. Don't play. Now put Megan back up. What? Oh, my God. Oh, see, see that, is that, that is colorism right there. That is color. Look, matter of fact, look at Kalani at the. Kalani is light skinned. Do, see, see how black people don't even love themselves? See how y'all trying to. I need to see the comments again. Because y'all are severely delusioned. 
Y'all are severely delusional. This is the paper bag test. Talking about Megan is light skin. Woo! Them filters got y'all fooled. No, that's why all of y'all following AI accounts right now, yelling at your man, talking about why are you in this whole DM? She ain't even real. <laughs> that don't even count as cheating. That's not even cheating. <laughs> now, brown, black, same thing. She would have worked outside versus inside. Now, <laughs> now, okay, okay, now, here we go. So Megan, you know, like I said, we've seen more of her snot, and I like the song with her and Glory. I was just trying to figure out why she, why she ain't put my sister-in-law on tour. My sister-in-law has done a lot for her, and I just don't understand why not her. People like classics. People love classics, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Or you could have made a song with her to revive her. It could have been bongos. It could have been anything. I'm just saying, no shade. I swear to God, this is no shade. I am just noticing, like, <sighs> the friendship is not reciprocating. Hmm. But maybe she'll give her a, a cameo to do a couple of songs and because glow there. So I'm sure she'll be a special guest. So for her to be on live after um and 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 you know I guess she's trying to convince us uh, cuz she has a new best friend and the best friend is stating cuz we don't, I don't even know who this best friend is it's not Kelsey cuz Kelsey is gone and it's not Kalani cuz they they left and they took their man with them okay um Megan uh, did she forget did the Hennessy Clear brain cells, Jasmine, go ahead. You know you just got a new I don't even know the because I'm flabbergasted. That's your wasabi though. Why would you dip in my shit with a new boyfriend? Who is, who is this Y'all know my best friend, Jayla. Scoot in closer. All right, you need to scoot in. Hey guys. She has got to start with those fillers. Her lip is touching her nose. <laughs> it look like a pussy lip. I ain't need for the lie. Go ahead, go. My day one best friend, my realest best friend, my only best friend. <laughs> I want y'all a little bit of this. Let me get a little bit of yellow side. Why would you dip in my stuff? I don't, there's no other eel sauce. There's no other eel sauce, that's the one dip that I took. I didn't even double dip. That's wrong. You know you just got a new Now look at your wasabi in my eel sauce. That's not, I just ate all of my wasabi, first of all. I don't even know the All of a sudden, dipping in my That's your wasabi. What a new I'm sorry, I did yell. I did yell. <laughs> Cause I'm flabbergasted. That's your wasabi though. Why would you dip in my shit with a new boyfriend? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? That's my man, my man, my man. But that's not my wasabi. I'm mad. I'm mad as a no, bitch. No, you are not. That is not my. That is yours. That, that is not my. Claim them. I don't even know this. Now, Megan, she's like, why would you dip your, your, figgy, your food in my sauce and you got a new boyfriend and I don't know him? You know why you don't know him. <laughs> the last best friend that introduced you to her man, he shot you. Now, how you got a best friend and you claiming she your best friend and she dipping in your sauces and stuff? Because y'all share everything, but just not men no more. So, uh, I, mean, I know y'all asking about Kalani, because if you're not a day one wino, you would have known that I spilled the story about Kalani. Kalani was with YG. Megan shows up with no panties on, <laughs> with boy shorts on, and a closed mall. 
with YG, claiming she going shopping for Kalani. But Kalani didn't find out she was with YG and asked her why she was with her man. And she said, girl, we're going shopping. She said, okay, but where's your clothes? <laughs> Megan showed up. We were like, where's your clothes? If you're going shopping with my man, why don't you have any clothes on? Why are you in a store toasting up with champagne with my man with your legs on fire? So last we seen with her and Kalani. And then, of course, Kelsey. Kelsey had to testify to help save her man. She didn't remember shit on the stand. All because of Bigfoot. <laughs> now you mad? Because Jayla is your best friend. That's your real best friend, but you don't know her man. You won't never see him. He's a ghost. He's an AI avatar. No, ma'am. Now, every time you see somebody's man, you think the world. Because I'm telling you, anybody that puts their ass online the way that she do, she thinks the world. Everybody's man belongs to her. How do you Mm-hmm. Jayla, I'm with you, girl. All right, now, before we end this, because we got Jock and Glow, okay? Don't forget, guys, I'll be in Baltimore uh, this Sunday. I will be going live Friday over here, okay? My hair probably won't be combed by Friday, but it'll be combed by Saturday. So don't you worry, I'm going to show up. I'm going to make sure our pictures are nice in Baltimore. Please go to TashaKateOnStage.com right now to get your tickets in California. We will see you on April 21st, okay, in Pleasanton, Oakland, San Francisco, that area, okay? And so I can't wait to see y'all. Now, after this, we're going to head over to TashaKateLive.com for some extended wines, a little more dangerous, you know what I'm saying, stuff that is prohibited from over here. I, I can't even really cuss over here, you know what I'm saying? I can't really do what I do. Over here, but you know, the winos is over there, they understand. They understand. And shout out to the bonbons too, that's over there, because they, you know, she got a lot of bonbon, bondy blue followers that's over there too. You know what I'm saying? Now, we ain't, we ain't gonna do that no more. We good. Young Jock, I did not comb my hair for you, brother. I wanted you to see what family really looked like with no makeup on, just lipstick. Okay, I should have showed up with a do rag on since you are my brother in law. I don't need, I can fart around you now. Brother. <laughs> I ain't gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> you may see me not wash my hands and come fix your plate at the next family cookout. And I may do it just for you. I, I'm not washing my hands just so I can fix your nasty ass a plate. Now, interesting enough, um, Jock for some reason won't keep my name out of his mouth. Like, I only talk about you when it's relevant to the topic. But every time you're getting your little $1,500 from Vlad, you over there running your mouth about everything that ain't got nothing to do with nothing except for the real issue at hand. Now, you had your ass on over there last year talking about Tasha K was lying on you. I ain't got no love, child. You was in my DM. Oh, I'm going to find somebody for you. That ain't my baby. That's future baby. This what you said on Vlad. Let's go. Keep king. Conversation with Tasha K one time. Um, it was via DM. And pause, pause, I pause, can pause. see. It was private. It was family business since you made it public. Go ahead. I can see how she lost this case. What do you mean? I understand because you know when 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 you don't think you could be held accountable for doing something that you've just been doing, you know, it's kind of like you throw it up, and it just works out for you, and you don't know there's consequences and repercussions. You know it's consequences and repercussions, but nobody's really pushing a button. You know what I'm saying? You got you, you got to get what I'm saying? Yeah. When yeah. you know no one's putting, you like ain't nobody suing and doing all that shit. They'll try the courts to throw it out. But when that shit come back and it hit your ass with four million dollars. And it stick. It's and one it thing stick. for it to come back, but when bro, it stick. Bro, she'll be working a long ass time to pay that off. You know what else sticks? Babies. Oh. Side babies with hoes. Side babies with hoes, but keep it going. That's going to cost you she way more. Bank up to clear that. Pause, pause, pause. That's going to cost you way more than four million dollars. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I mean, that's going to be with her. Let me the, the, the bankrupt, that, that's a temporary solution. Now, Cardi may never get a full four million, but... Pause, 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 
If them folks go get to going, she gonna get all her money. Don't be no, 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 she gonna get all her money. Stop. But is your baby's gonna get all their child support? <laughs> Keep it going. Then the start season assets. <sighs> Property, man, you don't, I don't know what kind of money people got in the bank. But see, what makes it even worse when it appeared that she was taunting her and was like, I ain't got it. When she was doing all that shit. So, so let me ask you again, do you think that apology was sincere and genuine or was it, damn, yeah, I yeah, just. when you done got your ass spanked that hard, I'm sorry. I am sorry. sorry. You a damn to turn the goddamn Oprah on color purple. <laughs> <laughs> you look cock-eyed seeing that shit if you got to. Hell is you talking about? You look like Samuel Jackson. Oh <laughs> God, him the Django. I'm sorry. That's a that's a hit. Four million dollars, boy. That you oh, got the gifts for. You ain't even made four million dollars. Thank you. The hell is you talking about? That's just like being 16 years old talking about they finna give you. 50 years. You ain't even lived 50 years. How the fuck you gonna give it to somebody? Jesus. You ain't, she ain't even made four million and she got to give up four million? Man, that is debt. That's what you call overhead. Mm -hmm. oh, Yo, she pays for that. She got push. How many children he got? Please tell me in the chat and we're gonna calculate child support and what he's gonna pay because he gonna be dead paying child support. But go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 go. Shit. What? What's Crazy is, I was talking to Vlad, and Vlad said, even after she got sued by Cardi, mm -hmm. Tasha made a video falsely claiming she knows that Vlad, aka the police, sends his footage to the police before his interviews air. Pause, 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 pause. And you know Vlad ain't got- but That's not what we said. Now, you know that's not what we said. You see how they be these, like, stretching the truth? <laughs> Same way they, like, stretching all these different females' vaginas out and have them put out all these babies that they don't claim. Let's go. No problem. Let me see the comments. Again. Getting his lawyers on you and getting the authority. <laughs> she had to take that video down, but it goes to the point that sometimes when you throw stuff up for so long, and it been working for you, you don't think that there's going to be repercussions behind it. I, that's, that's what I said. I mean, mm. th that's, mm. listen, man. Listen. You know, mm. the night of my wedding. <laughs> pause, 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 Here it go, here it go, here it go. We just get started, brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, you said all that to say what now? The night of my wedding. The night of my wedding. When that shit hit the blogs that I had a mystery child out here. Tasha K did that shit. Tasha K did that shit. You did it right. I never Are you said serious? that. I'm serious. Tasha K did that shit. Tasha you hold on, hold on. Before we go for, for you know that to be a fact. We yeah. spoke in the DM. I already knew she had the story. I already knew she was on it. She was questioning too many people, and they like, "Hey man, this toss can't be But you call me a liar. How many? Like I said, how many black men out here have been falsely accused of things? Them, them spent fifty years in jail for what? But that's, that's neither here nor there. It was done. It was done. I'm taking my L happy. Okay. But you called me, you tried to use that as an example to call me a liar. And Vlad, too. And I got Vlad in a Matt Hoffer interview admitting to four of those black men that the feds have hit him up. Asking for footage. Okay? So is that, but, but Tasha K snooping around. That means I'm doing what, Jasmine? Isn't that called researching a story? Investigating a story? Huh? Yeah. That's why even after my L... Sorry, four L's. Um, even after my L, the name still got y'all out here talking. Let's, let's go, let's go. Kick your head. I already knew she had the story. I already knew she was on it. 
she was questioning too many people. And they like, hey man, this Tasha K bitch keep woo. And we got I, I got the back and forth from my DM now. What you mean? And I said, hey man, why what are you doing? What's 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 your reason for this? Pop, I pop, said put some respect on the name, Jock. Put you didn't know your sister in law had what it takes. You didn't know. Let's go. Is this for, is this to gain attention or fans? She said, hey, don't worry about me. You need to worry about this child. I said, look. I said, do you know, do you know this to be factual? Do you know if there's DNA evidence that's proved this is my child? Why are you doing this on my wedding night? Mm -hmm. And that shit went back and forth like, look, I'm doing this for Kendra. I said, no, you're not. No, you're not. That ain't, you, you ain't doing that for my wife. That ain't, that ain't what that is. This ain't, this ain't what this, this ain't that and that ain't that. <laughs> that it's not. I said, you know, why would you want to gain more enemies? You were already dealing with shit. Why, why, why would you want to gain more babies? <laughs> go ahead, Jock. Go ahead. Keep lying. This, Cause he, you gotta understand, this is that serious face he tell Kendra. This is how he be lying to women all the time. Look at him. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to lie? You see, the this is narcissism in its flesh. Talking, go, Jock. Go she said, hey, man, you know, whatever it is, is this a threat? I said, it's not a threat. I'm just asking you real life questions. Real life. Like, are you that willing to put everything on the line for some likes? What? And I said, you should really, you should really reconsider this story that you're trying to push because you don't know what's going on. And she said, well, I'll take it down. Not for you, but I'm going to take it down for Kendra. Something she said, I got the email. I got that shit in my thread. And I was just like, why would you do that? I'm like, why? Like, you don't even know what's going on. Why would you do that? So when that whole shit came out, I could have been said, oh, man, she she did. She, and you know this who. And, but I just sat back and I just watched God spank her. I don't kick people when they down. He don't kick people when he down. He don't kick people when they down. Mm -mm. So that was last year, okay? This is for all the Tosh, people say Tasha can't be lying. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> Jock, here's the updated story. That was then, this is now. <laughs> I was dealing with this young lady. In the time I had a situation, you know, I was I was kind of in that you know in a blind spot dealing with Kendra. I didn't know which way we was gonna go. I was just kind of like, mm. I had known this woman. I, you know, wasn't even trying to lock in or nothing. No nothing. That she was cool. I never had touched her. She never said anything sexual out the way to me. Vice versa. And uh, I was dealing with some things. I was going through a. I don't even know if I want to use the term depression because I wasn't depressed, but I may have been on my way there with some things I was dealing Pause. with mentally, family. Pause. I don't I don't want to kick him while he down. <laughs> he was depressed. You see, you see the narcissist in him? He is not taking responsibility. The night of his wedding, I literally left a comment on the shade room and said, bro, you gonna tell about the baby you got with my stepsister? What you, and now it's my fault? It's Kendra's fault? It's, it's the depression's fault? It's God's fault? Go, Jack, go! Spiritually, just all in all. Um, and, um, so yeah, life happened. I had this child. You know, I had to keep it a secret because I, I really didn't know if it was my child or not. I just, you know, I mean, Kendra's back together. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm getting gray hairs. I'm trying to do everything I can. Um, and it happened. So it takes two to tango. So, you know, I don't I don't know if Tasha K wanted to just put this negative light on this young lady because she don't they don't like each other. But the interesting thing is, I remember when Pause, Pause, Pause. Dude, this family business, fuck no, I don't like her. I don't like her. Didn't I make that very clear that I didn't like his? He didn't know that he married Bay County's alleged hoe or had a baby with Bay County's alleged hoe. He didn't know what I had to tell him. He didn't believe it. He thought the BBL was real. 
But it was depressed. It was anxious. The boys, it was too good. <laughs> Go. She started snooping around. She was saying all these different names and making all these allegations. And then the night of my wedding, and I spoke to my wife. Well, she's my wife now. I spoke to Kendra. I said, Kendra, you know, okay. I do mm -hmm. still want to marry you, and I, mm -hmm. I cannot move forward as a man um, without coming clean and being forthcoming about the situation. There's a child. There's a child. And I want to I wanna let you know, I want to give you the opportunity to decide if you still want to go forward because this is a very um, big turning point in your life mm -hmm. and mine as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I just cannot be so negligent to not give you the opportunity to decide if you want to move forward with this or not. Pa, just... pa, 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 pa. Now, let me say this too because, you see, he's pushing me. Glow is not the only sister of mine that that Jock tried to hit. Exclusive. Okay, so my sisters, remember the sister that you met, Jasmine, in the club? You was like, whoa, she pretty. Now, this is my real sister. He was at the gas station. He was with Kendra. He saw my sister. He said, whoa, what's up? But he had a perm. My sister said, your hair can't be straighter than mine. <laughs> this is while he was with Glove and Kendra. My sister's called me. Hey, Sasha. I, we, we already know. I didn't even go forward with that one. But I'm saying it now to say it wasn't just, oh, this one time you hit the press. This is like the second sister, the third sister of mine. Because there was another sister he tried to hit too. See, this is what I'm trying to take. Jock, what does this have to do with me? What does my L with Cardi got to do with you? I caught that when I first started blogging. Bro, we're deep in this now. This a household name now. You need to just cooperate. You need to cooperate. But go ahead. Keep keep lying. Keep lying. I already felt low about the situation because I am hiding a kid. Um, I felt low about the situation because maybe I didn't, you know, make the best uh, decision at that time in my life. I'm at a, just at a low. And here I am in the church telling my wife as we're having um, premarital counseling. Mm. And she decided that, you know, we, we would have to work on some things. And I agreed. And I was up to the challenge, and she was up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And we moved forward. So here we are, the night of our wedding, right right before we say our dues, Tasha K. This woman decides to leak this story to the shade room. So by the time... Pause, 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 pause. Before, Let me tell you how much of a liar he is. He said that during premarital pre counseling, he let Kendra know. So this was before the wedding. So on the night of the wedding, when I was in the shade room comments saying, hey, 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 what about my sister over here and the baby? Yo, hey, 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 hey. If anybody, do you know how they say, if anybody got any objections, literally they objected before they said I do. I swear to God, I was in there. Like, Object! I got something to say. <laughs> I, and I hear, you know, I got something to say. Hey, 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 what about this baby over here? But he was in my DM that night, but you claimed you told Kendra you had a baby. In my DM saying, you did not have a, baby, have a baby. You knew that I was looking and that I said it was futures because she was hitting both of y'all, allegedly. And so, when did you tell Kendra the truth? When, why, why was I called a liar and you knew? But you, you told her before the wedding, but yet you was in my DM on your wedding night. You was supposed to be laying dick to your wife. Instead, you was giving me a head. Ooh, keep going. We can even say I do. People in the audience like, oh, shit, look at this shit. God damn, what the fuck is this? Is this real? I don't know. God oh, damn, that made the I love so we can talk season. about it. Let's get to the reception. And uh, so it's very interesting. And that night I did speak to Tasha K. I did, I did, I did speak to Tasha. We met his family. Via Instagram. And I was just like, man, it don't make no sense how people really uh, 
Some people really just be trying to cause issues for people, man, and getting your business and, and fuck shit up and Pause, whatnot. Pop, pop, pop. That is a bad interviewer. Why is Jock looking down interviewing? That's how you know when somebody lying. When a person is looking down, looking everywhere but at the interviewer's faces because he's still not being honest. He's a complete narcissist. And Kendra deserves every disease he gives her. Keep going. And no, it is what it is. But then Tasha K recently came out because she saw me on Vlad speak about her. And you know how that shit go. People get upset. Pop, oh, pop, you pop. had nerve. When your man lying, it's because he looking down. So women, women, if he looking down, it's because he lying. That is a liar right there. He still ain't stopped lying. Go ahead. Open your mouth about me. Say all these things. And I did. I said what I said because I didn't fuck with the way Tasha K tried to handle shit. I felt like that was really, um, it was just really lame of her. Mm -hmm. But this is how she get paid. This her world. She ain't no different than 1090 Jake. She found what worked for her, and this is how she paying her bills, right? Wait a minute. Who now, is 1090 Jake? Who is 1090? Why is he comparing me to a, ain't that a white boy? John, this is family business. We could have handled this in the damn like the family we are. And then let me tell you, what he, we don't even need to, what, what, he, what else he say? I can say what I, what I got to say, that we can head over to TashaKLive.com for some real wine, because right now this is light work. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think when we had our conversation, mm, I think when we had our conversation, mm. uh, she already knew the whole Cardi B thing was looming. So I think when she thought about it, she said, what if I'm goddamn wrong? So she retracted it and the shit came wait, down. Wait, That's wait, why you didn't hear he about it much. Be lying. My judgment was already in, Jock. What does you, you ain't got Cardi B money? You ain't even got child support. I hate when people gonna try to run for her for a safe haven. Better ask Kevin Hart. Now listen. Brother-in-law. <sighs> Glow. Um, so she gave him some text messages that were between us, right? And so I guess, you know, he it's like he's defending her, but he really doesn't even know her. Let me ask you this. Okay, so if you go to her Instagram page, it's called I Simply Glow or Gloria Cordero, you can you can Instagram it. Gloria got two other kids. My stepsister has two other kids. Why are they not on the page? Two other kids that she barely raised. But the baby she got with Jock, because this was the dream job, not the doctor, is posted everywhere. Why? If you got three children, why is only one important enough for you to post? Between you showing your ass. So it's like her showing her ass, the baby, ass again. He had no clue who she was. All he had to do was pull up in Bay County and ask around. They would have told him who she was. But because everybody from Panama City moved to Atlanta, and they already talk like they're from Atlanta. He didn't ask no questions. Now you got what you got. Why is it that a, a woman that has three children only is publicizing this one? Chop. Bruh. But I'm, I'm, I'm the bad guy, not your dick. I'm the bad guy. I already told you, I took my L for Cardi. She getting her money. It's wrapped up in the bankruptcy. She getting her money, okay? That is the insurance policy. That is what you got to go through in this. That is fine and dandy. But, sir, you can't put child support in the bankruptcy. You can't do it. You can't do it. That is like, I'm, we're in the same boat. Pretty much, like, that's like taxes. Um, they gonna get their money even after you die. And you keep having babies. As soon as you free and clear, 
And you got about maybe 10 years before your last, you have another one. Dumbass. Dumb, just dumb, dumb, dumb. Stop speaking on my name, John. Really. Stop speaking on my name. Now, I know you decided you wanted to put out text messages between me and Glow to my, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be friends with her. Sir, we were family. And on behalf of my mother and her daddy, they asked me and my sisters, as sisters, to be cordial with these hoes. So my sisters and I, who are not hoes, decided to be friends with these hoes, okay? And so as a token, on behalf of my mother and my father, I decided to reach out. I had a radio show. I knew she was in Rashida's video. She wanted to be a video vixen. I reached out to her. But make no mistake, my younger sisters hung with them before our parents got married. So for Glow to be sitting there, oh, we ain't, no, 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 because you never, because I never fuck with you. That's why. You messed with Tajanda and Tawana, my younger sisters, because y'all cheered together, but I never fuck with you. So don't be out here talking about I wanted to fit in, and meanwhile, you was out here talking about you was trying to be a doctor, but you was a video vixen ho on the side for Rashida and her music videos on tables, getting BBLs to fit in all to get your famous broke-ass baby daddy job. Girl, <sighs> he got them text messages. Oh, see, she asked me to be on her show. Yeah, I had a radio show. Jasmine, remember the radio show, Real Health, Real Beauty? That's where I met Jasmine. And since she was trying to be famous, I said, my mama said, Tasha, why don't you reach out to her? Ask her to be on the show, no problem. She in Atlanta, you in Atlanta, no problem. I did that for my mama. But when she disrespected my mama, all bets are off. I don't like the bitch. I don't like the hoe. And I said what I said. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please, guys, if you like this video, subscribe. Let me see the comments. I cannot wait to see the winos in Baltimore this weekend. Okay, we got tickets left. Tasha K on stage.com. We're going to be in Pleasanton, California on April 21st. Then we're going to be in Virginia Beach for Mother's Day. Then I'm going to Orlando, Tampa, Raleigh, Charlotte, St. Louis, Cleveland, Tulsa, New York, New York. Hey, y'all better get them tickets and tell them to stop playing with the winos. Me and my wine belly. Nah. <sighs> Talking about you got a sister, I can't stand my am what I am. So please, guys, don't forget we're about to head over to TashaKLive.com right now. For a second part of the show, we're definitely going to be discussing some unsister topics and we got some interviews that's going to be dropping. We brought in the reporter who spoke, was the last reporter to speak to Jay-Z's alleged mistress before she wound it up gone. We flew Liz Crogan in. Yeah, we did. We had to get all the wine. And when I tell you it was so much wine that she spent, I didn't even know she dated R. Kelly's manager. I said, ooh, this is a whoop. This interview, three and a half hours long. Y'all make sure y'all have y'all subscriptions on TashaKLive.com because that's where it goes down. And yes, I am coming to the UK. I really am. I just talked to my tour manager yesterday. Next year is going to be a whole different ball game, okay? We coming everywhere. Los Angeles, y'all next year. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just Y'all didn't make the cut this year. But next year, I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay? So, I love y'all, and thank y'all so much to all of y'all that have been day one winos, recent winos, halfway winos, you know it, okay? They be out here trying to play with us. With everything that they talk about now, we already discussed. We already discussed. They late, just like he late on child support. What's Kyle was bothering folks? What they talk about? Okay. All right. What time on TashaKLive.com, Jasmine? What time? Can we do 8.45? 8.45. 8.45 Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much, Aurora, okay? We're going to have some big changes coming up here on YouTube. Stay tuned. I will be making announcements here in the next couple of months on what's going on. But they're all great changes. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to see y'all in y'all city. Be more stand up. And I love y'all. Don't forget, subscribe everywhere. Follow me everywhere. Buy your ticket, TashaKOnStage.com. If you have tips, hit me in the DM. Email me at 
chat on wobbletoshka at gmail.com. If you super chatted, thank you. If you didn't, keep your money. I get it. I would rather see y'all at a live show anyway. I love you guys so much. Now I got to go. Head over to TashaKLive.com right now. Bye.